Hawaii could see its first major hurricane since 1992. Experts say Hurricane Lane could make landfall, and if it doesn't, locals are still bracing for landslides, strong winds, and even having flooding. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz talks with one Hawaii transplant who's native to West Fargo. He's explaining why many visitors are scrambling to either get off of the island or to stay safe through the storm. Just encourage everyone to stay calm and get prepared. Hawaii's governor on Wednesday preparing locals for a potential disaster as Category 4 Hurricane Lane heads toward the islands. But experts say it could take a turn for either better or worse by later this evening. Well, I mean, we hope for the best and are preparing for the worst. West Fargo native Wendy Mooney now lives on Maui for the past 16 years. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of panic and worry and intense feelings right now, which are very understandable given the situation. Mooney rents out condos to tourists. While her office was boarded up earlier in the day, she says she's seen many visitors leave early as news of the hurricane began to spread. Looking online, the cheapest ticket I could find from Honolulu to Fargo Thursday night would cost nearly $1,000. And these prices may have even gone down as warnings have recently eased up a bit. It looks like it's kind of moving more away. It might just be a lot of heavy rain. But the warnings are still in place. Just want to remind everyone to be prepared to shelter in place. Um, 14 days of food and supplies and water, medicine, other necessities that they would have. And people have been stocking up. We've been seeing a lot of lines at stores, the people trying to come to get supplies, generators. I hear a couple gas stations actually sold out of gas. Mooney says the big island is already seeing some flooding and the areas more heavily populated with tourists may be next. Meaning even if the storm turns before doing its worst damage, the best case scenario is looking like a ruined vacation. Which is kind of a bummer for somebody that's visiting the islands and spent all this money to come here and it's raining. Rose Iskavis, Valley News Live. Mooney says her business is allowing clients to cancel them at no charge and says in general everyone is helping one another out during this time.